So I've just caught David as he's come out of the event and uh, I want to know what have you bought please? Um, I've bought a large selection of computer games here. Okay. You can see there's three N64 games, not the best ones, but um, they were at bargain at three for a fiver. So okay. Um, this one I'm particularly proud of, it's quite a rare one to get, Mario RPG for the SNES. Yeah. Yeah, it's the Japanese version but I've got a console known as the Retron 5 that plays Japanese ones. Oh, um, you've got the Retro 5, I've, yeah. I've heard of them, I've yeah, seen a couple of them. Uh, so it's multi-region, so it helps yeah. on that, but yeah, Fantasy Star Online for the Dreamcast, um, DuckTales for the Game Boy, Empire for the NES, it goes, let's say I've got... You've got quite a nice selection yeah. of games here for different consoles, yeah. even different uh, companies. Yeah. Yeah, it's, it's quite good. Yeah, I've got, um, with my gaming collection, I've got 54 consoles and... Um, over 1,175 games, it'll probably be past the 1,190 mark now. Yeah, it's going it's to be finished. getting there. Yeah. So, uh, yeah, I've been collecting since I was eight years old. Right. So, uh, I'm 31 now. So, <laughs> so it's a long time. Yeah. So, it's, yeah, I'm quite happy with what I've got here today. You know, that's, as I say, I'm going back in for free more. just need a bit more money. But, <laughs> but yeah, it's been a really good event. Um, I like how it's more open and spacious compared to the Marriott. That's okay. been really good. Yeah. yeah. And yeah, you go in there and you feel quite warm. <laughs> there, it's nice and cool. Yeah, so, nice, nice and airy yeah. in there. Yeah, so it's yeah, it's been a good, good day. And I, I travel in from Moulton as well, so that's like right. forty miles. Yeah, yeah it's so, a bit of a trek. Yeah, so, so. I was up at seven o'clock <laughs> to get here for ten. So, yeah, I'm quite happy with. with um, were you part of the first fifty people? Yeah, I was. So you got I a free think. gift as well. Oh, well, that's that's yeah. pretty cool. And you got you got a nice selection of uh, things in there. There's, a, there's an extra game in there. Oh, I just yeah. noticed. Uh, yeah. King of the Ring. And King of the Ring as well. So, so that's cool. Well, yeah. thank you very much. How did you hear about the uh, event today? Um, through Facebook. I've Proof. been following the retro events for about two years now. I went right. to the uh, to the big retro games fair at the Hedra last January. Yeah. And I've been to the other mini ones at the Marriott a couple of times. So I've been keeping track of yeah. all the events. Does with all the events and collecting, so, so yeah, it's been really good just getting all the days. <laughs> okay, so we'll most likely see you again in June for the for the next yeah, one. Yeah, you should be. Well, that's great. Yeah. Hope to see you then, and I hope you had a good rest of the day. Thank you. Thank you. Well, good day. I've got a fidget spinner. Okay. Uh, and what, what what's what what does that do? Oh, um, <laughs> it's like um, you spin it around, like yeah. push it, and it spins, and it's just entertaining. Okay. And what else have you got? Well, I've got this, this teddy. Little uh, plush. Who, who is that? I forget. It's. Um, <laughs> they use a Cooper for Mario. Cooper, right. Uh, anything else you, you've got? Yeah, one more thing. <laughs> Marvel Legends. A Marvel Legends Agent Venom. Okay. Uh, have you seen Deadpool walking around as well, if you yeah. like your Marvel stuff? Yeah, yeah have, you, have you spoke to him, said hi? Yeah. That's cool. Hey there, so we're talking with uh, Juan from uh, Deadpan Robot and I just want to know a bit more about your stall please. Hi, <laughs> so we sell uh, modification and repair parts for Game Boys. We sell Game Boy Advance, Game Boy Color all the way back to the original Game Boy. Um, we have replacement shells, we have replacement buttons, screen lenses and back buttons. We do custom consoles to order, we do pre built consoles on the website. Um, if you want to send in a console to mod it, we charge a £25 flat fee. 
can send in your own console, we'll add the parts that you want, if you want a backlight, if you want a shell, um, and post it back to you. We have games, we have all kinds of accessories and bits and pieces that we're working on. Do you fix consoles? We fix consoles, we fix everything. <laughs> we're getting a new line of flash carts coming in for uh, ROM based things. Homebrew, the homebrew scene is great. LSDJ, chip tune guys, they love us. There's all kinds of audio mods and syncing MIDI mods and different bits and pieces that you can board for these these days. Um, realistically, I just like playing Tetris. <laughs> well, we're talking with uh, Chris again. We saw him at the last event, and uh, what have you bought today? Today, I've got the ADSR2 Game Boy Classic Advanced. Yeah. The NES Classic cover. Oh, that's, that's pretty cool. And uh, I see it says uh, £40 on there. So what's yeah. different with the, the model number well, that you just said? Well, the ADSR2 is backlit. Ah. The ADSR1 is frontlit. And these are rarer than the frontlit. Game Boy, so that's why it costs a bit more. Well, that's great. Well, thank you very much. Uh, so yeah, um, one of the things that I really like about these uh, these events is the, the artists. There's a lot of artists here. Um, there's Ben Redfield, who's a who's a friend of mine. I like to like, see his art. Yeah. Uh, and I also came for some DS games today. Uh, I haven't completed my Sonic collection, so I get Sonic Rush and Sonic Rush Adventure. Well, I hope to find them. Yeah, hopefully uh, I'll find them today. Yeah, well, that, that's that's great. Where have you come from today? Uh, I came from Peterborough today. Um, my train was cancelled. <laughs> uh, a lot of trains were cancelled, so um, I've come in quite late. Uh, I'm a bit about two, three hours later than I wanted to be. <laughs> so, um, yeah, I'm glad I'm here, though. Glad yeah, well, here. well, that's good. Uh, and how did you hear about the event? Uh, I've been to loads of these before, but originally, uh, I think it was in Forbidden Planet that I heard about. I saw some posters for it. Oh, that's great. Well, thank you for talking with us. Hope nice. you have a good day. Awesome. Cheers. Thanks. Take care. Uh, Jim from A Lot of Bottle, and uh, we spoke to you before. I just want to know what have you brought today that's new? Um, a little bit more intricate design this time around, okay. so I've got a little bit with uh, more lettering, um, make it a little bit more quirky, because I know sometimes people don't always kind of resonate with a particular character, so maybe a little bit more uh, widespread. Just yeah. So it can fit everything on the table as well, because obviously it's quite full already. So yeah, just something that I'm a little bit more um, intricate this time around. Oh, that's still nice. the same in the old classic. <laughs> still at the old classic oh, stuff. Yeah. And uh, but, so let's just have a close look at these. What was it? What was that? Unicorns are awesome. Yeah. I am awesome. Yeah, there you go. I am even. <laughs> I, I like that one. So uh, that's great. Thank you for talking with us. No worries. Thank you very much. Yeah, I bought some uh, cards and uh, yeah. deck boxes. Okay, can we have a quick look at them all? Uh, yeah, I've got one of deck boxes. Yeah. yeah. Pretty, pretty nice. Nice artwork on that. I do yeah, like that. Yeah, that's quite cool. And uh, what did you buy inside? Various items. Various items. Glasses, uh, plushies, um, wands. <laughs> is, is there anything um, we can easily have a look at? Uh, all? Yeah, there's the glasses that they bought. Oh, you got these from uh, a lot of bottle. Yeah, the so, pretty designs. Yeah. Um, so you got the wands, the plushies. I... T-shirts that we got as well. Uh, T-shirts, but they're, they're all packed away. They're all packed away. I don't <laughs> no, that's fine. Well, yeah. thanks for talking with us. So we're talking here with Dambo from uh, Demise, and uh, we just want to know a bit more about your store, please. Well, we do sell a lot of badges, quite a large selection of mugs. Good price on them, four pounds for each ten. This ones. T-shirts. T-shirts. All my designs, which I make myself. Okay. Vests, baby vests. Something different, we don't really see that much. I'm out from York. Do try to get around as much as we can every weekend doing shows. Yeah. Yeah. Well, that's, that's great. How did you get into all of this stuff? Well, originally I started on York Market. Traded there for about six years. And then I just decided to do a show randomly, and that was actually in York by a company called Unleashed. Yeah. And then guaranteed, like once you've done one, get the bug, and that's it. That was the end of me on the market, pretty much. I started doing cons pretty much every weekend. Yeah. So yeah, this is also a show that I've got up and coming in York. Can people find you online? Oh. Online, yeah, I'm online, but it depends what's going on like it takes me a long time to get ready for these shows so I'm constantly having to turn the shop into holiday mode yeah just to keep up with you know the demand because a lot of stuff is what we make at home so okay yeah well yeah, online, yeah. well thanks for talking with us and I hope you have a good day yeah no problem that's great yes. thank you I bought, I bought a PlayStation wallet and I bought a, bought a couple of wristbands I bought Avengers wristbands I bought, I bought a 
Dragon Ball Z and about uh, and about um, baby metal. And I've, and, I've, and I've recorded as well the hoodie off one of the stalls as well. Well, that's great. Yeah. Well, thank you very much. See you again. Uh, just a bunch of uh, merchandise. Hey. TV is So, we both got um, some pixel art um, posters from uh, one of the art stores in there. Okay. Like Ghost in the Shell, and yeah. she got something for Ah, right, okay, okay. Uh, I got. Why don't you tell the office channel? Okay. Uh, I also got. Um, I got a Chun Li magnet. Okay. Uh, and the last thing I got uh, was here. And it's a um, framed poster of um, Wonder Woman. Oh, right. In the uh, classic We Can Do It uh, pose. That's pretty cool. That's some nice posters you got there. And, uh, different different styles of yeah. uh, artwork. Pretty cool. So, uh, what, what did you. Uh, Said, uh, yeah, you got the Attack on Titan. I got a uh, Doctor Who shirt for a Sonic Screwdriver. All oh, right. Have you have you met the either of the doctors that have been here I today? I met the doctor. Well, I saw the doctor and I had a picture of the one in the TARDIS. Okay. Uh, I don't know the second doctor. I saw one doctor. In that. Yeah, there's, there's there's two of there. <laughs> yeah. Uh, I got a. Uh, oh, right, Mr. Me Seeks. <laughs> don't ask him to improve your golf swing now. Oh wow, I know it. Yeah, you got that from uh, okay. yeah from Helen, yes. Yeah. <laughs> so not only uh, take it out and it works as a mini mini map, but you can also put yeah put a light in it since they're transparent. It works as a light. Right. Yeah. I got a Totoro uh, little design thing. I'm pretty sure they were dog to him. I'm pretty sure. Well, I'm not yeah. sure. I got. Uh, dust spray okay. from um, Spray to the West. Yeah. And my last thing I got was um, a pillow. Oh, pretty cool. Oh, that's fantastic. How did you hear about the event today? Uh, I heard from her. <laughs> oh, so you heard from her. So there we go. That, that's that side. <laughs> Right. And they followed me back twice with a few questions. Yeah. Like why it's going to be running everything. So yeah, mainly on Twitter. Oh, well, that's great. Well, thank you very much. Hope you have a good day. <laughs> what did you say? I fantastic day at the Collector Beely Affair and I just want to say congratulations again to the winners of the prizes you know as usual my name were in, was in there as well but you 
you guys just keep beating me out to it. You know, you just, you know, everybody else just gets picked uh, before me. But it was, it was good to actually see a prize being picked up uh, as well. You know, seeing it drawn and picked up straight away. So that was cool. Uh, just to let you know, the uh, the footage that you're seeing right now, uh, I set up a camera uh, just facing the entrance, which I'm sure you guess that. Uh, you know, I wonder if uh, any of you have seen yourself on this. It's, it's running a bit quick, I understand, but you know, it, it took about three and a half hours worth of footage. Um, but yeah, from basically just before the the fair opened, have a look out for yourself. Um, if you did turn up uh, before one o'clock, maybe half past one, then you, you you'll be uh, you'll be on there somewhere paying in. Again, I have to apologise, and I am sorry about the poor audio in parts of this video uh, unfortunately it's just a, a technical difficulty that couldn't be helped this time and uh, I will not be using this camera again uh, for the for another event uh, yeah it just it just seems to want to pick up the background noise and when you're trying to talk to people and it's already loud yeah definitely um uh, should have used a different different camera but I wasn't to know until I saw the footage so again sorry about that and apologies especially to Saw Fum and Twisted Head, Head, Headmistress because uh, they seem to be the ones that was most greatly affected by this uh, you can barely hear uh, what they're saying which was a shame and also, if there were any films that I did do and you haven't seen yourself, then unfortunately the audio on that was just way too bad. And again, I'm sorry. Gonna finish this video on a high note now though. Um, and what we're gonna do? Well, what haven't we done yet? So oh, well then, let's uh, let's look at my purchases for today. Uh, we've seen everybody else's purchases and. Uh, well, there was a lot of cool stuff, and I hope you think uh, that I've got some cool stuff as well by by the end of this. Uh, if if you watch into the end, then I'm pretty certain you'll want to know what I've bought. I'll I'll show you this first. This is the uh, yeah, this is the uh, least impressive of the lot because you've seen me get this uh, before, I suppose. Uh, but Jay at my Martin Designs, which you uh, you know from uh, my T-shirt, he he you know helped me design my T-shirt and that and. Uh, you know, you've seen it in a few videos now, but yeah, Man Mountain Designs did that. And uh, well, when he's selling his T-shirts at stalls, he's he's also got a little sideline in the in some retro games and consoles and peripherals. And he, he was selling these uh, for five each. Okay, if I can get them out of the bag, uh, two uh, G-Cons. Uh, well, two G-Con twos with the adapter. Uh, but he let me have them for five pound for the pair with the adapter. So uh, pretty cool there. This means I've got five of these now. So I've got, I've got, I can have two players each on both of my PS twos, and I've still got a spare one and a spare adapter. So that's very cool. So thanks, thanks to Jay there for that that nice deal. Uh, that's, that's great. So we'll move on to the next item then, and in our well, we got a bit excited about this one. There, this was sealed, uh, but we 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 just had to. Uh, get it open partially because well I wanted to do I'm not going to do a full review on it but this Lego Batman movie this uh, Penguin Arctic Roller this was a great deal that we we found um, now normally in the shops uh, we had another check this is £30 in the shop uh, brand new uh, we got this £16 and it was sealed uh, but we just we just had to get it open look at this and uh, I'm going to bring it in now this is a fantastic car uh, and as I said I'm not going to do a full episode on this so this is the only the only review I'm going to do on this vehicle, but this is fantastic. Um, great white on this. I mean, I know it's called the Arctic Roller, but the white and the gold just absolutely look fantastic. And it comes with a, a Batman uh, minifigure as well, uh, which I haven't. I don't think I've got a standard Batman minifigure uh, like this. I've got I've got some of the the the, the fun ones uh, from the minifigure set, and the other minifigure in this is this amazing penguin figure uh, with with the nice you know neck wrap I can't remember what that's called <laughs> now the fur around his neck and this this great umbrella uh, that he comes with as well and I really like the face on this so that's that's pretty cool it 
great bargain uh, got that. Uh, can't remember what the seller was uh, called. I, I believe it was. Uh, I think it was one of the uh, the staff that was there. They had their own stall. Um, but yeah, this is a great vehicle. With this, uh, these next items, this is a pair. I've got to show you these off as a pair. These are from Forbidden Planet. And again, these were in the box, but I just had to get them out. Because um, they're, 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 well, they're fantastic, really. Uh, I do this with all of these. I don't like to keep these in the box. Uh, but it is a rocket and a Groot from the new Guardians movie. And if you haven't seen it, go see the Guardians movie. This uh, uh, Baby Groot uh, pop is really good, but it is beaten by this rocket. Uh, I thought this was, came on a stand, but this is all part of the thing. The is uh, on his in his jetpack, and it is a great, great little model. And I do like the way that the tail comes out uh, between the two boosts uh, there. So really cool. These were ten pound each from the Forbidden Planet store, but I waited till nearly the end, and uh, I said, "Will you do two for fifteen? Uh, I, you know, and luckily for me, they said they said yes. So two for fifteen. Uh, fantastic deal, great characters, and great, great examples of pops. Now, lastly, and by no means least, this is my favourite item that I bought. Now, you've seen me buy another one of these sets before, I'll bring it in in a sec. Um, now, if it had been a pop or a Lego model, then definitely it gets opened up. You know, there's very rare occasions where I don't open uh, those things up. But this is a sealed Star Wars Droid World. Um, audiobook. This is on record. Now, if you watch my memory moments, uh, this is, I've actually done this one as part of the memory moments because I've got this on tape as well. Uh, but this is the vinyl record. I have five out of six of this set now. Um, four of them are sealed, uh, but this is from 1983. It's as old as I am, and this is staying sealed. <laughs> so, uh, this was from uh, Richard uh, at Toys of Tatooine. Uh, we, we spoke to him uh, earlier in the video and well <laughs> he does have the last one of the set he just didn't have it with him on that day uh so uh hopefully in the future you know i want you know, i want him to uh, go out and sell some stuff obviously uh, at other other events but if you can just keep that one aside i'd be greatly appreciated and he knows he's got a sale uh when he brings that to another event next time uh but yes this uh, star wars joy world further adventures sealed audio book on vinyl so guys i hope you uh, enjoyed the video i hope you enjoyed the purchases as well um if you have enjoyed this video then please don't forget to uh, uh like and subscribe or unlike if you didn't like the video and if you want to then leave the comments uh, on what you liked and what you didn't like uh, apologies again i know i've done this a couple times for the uh, audio quality in this video it will be better for the next uh retro event or you know anything like that and um if you do want to support the channel uh in, in a more monetary sense then we've got paypal and patreon uh links uh below and also you can find us on facebook twitter twitch and uh, well i've put youtube there because i'm a youtube channel uh so links to all of that are underneath and thanks for watching and we'll see you guys on the next mort memorabilia